Center. Toronto Mayor Rob Ford digs in as pressure mounts for him to leave. The big smoke choking on the mayor's bombshell confession. Good evening. The surreal scene around City Hall in Toronto morphed into an almost carnival atmosphere today. The mayor peeking through curtains, even though his veil is definitely down. Yesterday, he admitted to using crack cocaine. Today, he acted like the Pied Piper. It was Take Your Kids to Work Day, and the man who few would consider a role model conducted tours with grade 9 students and education. Despite all the smiles, Ford couldn't fully escape the mess he's created. Once again, and more and more, some of his closest supporters advised him to take a leave. And his opponents? Well, they're closing ranks. They want him gone for good. CTV's Peter Ackman with today's developments. Back at work like nothing has happened, Rob Ford was giving tours and kissing off the media. Outside, deceived, lied to and sick of the drama, hundreds of Torontonians descended on City Hall. He has to respect our city at this point and respect himself and resign. The day after Rob Ford's confession. Yes, I have some looked crack cocaine. And the mayor's refusal to step aside. I was elected to do a job. The writing is now literally on the walls. The council is going to ostracize you and isolate you and neutralize your effectiveness. But many councillors aren't so sure they can. The question now is, though, what do we do? Motions will soon be tabled to limit his power and neutralize his vote. But many on council think ignoring the mayor is a better move. We'll carry on with or without the mayor's uh, uh, cooperation. This municipal lawyer says there is another option. Uh, what council could do is say, you know what, we're stripping the mayor's uh, office budget down to zero. Tactics that don't seem to be worrying Ford. But more of the mayor's skeletons could soon be unearthed. Police evidence, including wiretaps in their search for the crack video. And more questions about this crack house. Reports are Ford paid the bills. Mounting concerns for the deputy mayor. Today he told Ford to rethink his decision to stay on the job. If he took a pause and uh, regrouped and uh, re-entered the fray um, later uh, this year or early next year. You think you should resign? Advice many around the world agree with. Mayor Ford's a lot of fun to ridicule. But my guess is, not a lot of fun to eulogize. And that's where this thing's headed. Now, even though I will lose precious material, please go to rehab. While the protesters are gone, their messages have been washed away by the rain. But Rob Ford never saw them. He avoided the media and the rally coming and going by the back doors. Lisa. Okay, Peter Ackman starting us off tonight at Toronto City Hall again. Now, there was a resignation in Ford's office today, not the one protesters outside were pushing for. It was Ford's senior policy advisor. Brooks Barnett quit this morning. He was one of a handful of staffers still with Ford since this scandal broke back in May. And just when it seemed like things couldn't get any stranger today, a former wrestler known as the Iron Sheik in town for some public appearances showed up at City Hall. The wrestler admits to once having his own problems with crack cocaine and alcohol. Forcibly removing the mayor, as we've indicated, is a tall order, but it can be done under certain circumstances. On our website, we've detailed three ways Rob Ford could lose his job, plus... One of the men who posed with him outside that crack house in this now infamous photo is peddling a message from Mayor Ford's own playbook. He wants that video released also. You can read more on that at ctvnews.ca.